Hello, everybody, and welcome to another training session with Century 21 Percy Fulton. My name is Caitlin Fulton, and I'm excited to share with you guys something that's a little bit old, but also a little bit new, which is the QR codes. This is something that we used to use back in the day using our Blackberries, BBM. Um, it kind of disappeared for a little bit. And then we started to notice it again once the pandemic hit, and a lot of restaurants were even using it um, for their menus, and it's kind of coming back again. So we are also starting to use this now into our real estate business, and there's multiple ways that you can use a QR code. Some of the ways that we've been seeing, um, one of my good friends, Peter, out in Ottawa at Century 21, he let me in on a secret uh, for using QR codes for feature sheets for your listings. Um, another way that you can use, which some of our agents are using, is for postcards, maybe you're doing some farming, and you can direct a QR code to your calendar so people can book appointments directly with you. You can also use it to lead people to a lead landing page, a lead generation tool as well. So there's multiple ways that you can use this. But for today's purpose, we're going to be using it for your feature sheets and how you can use this on your listings. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can simply print out a sheet like this, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this as well. But you can create this, have it printed, put it at the front of your listing, um, in the front hallway or in the kitchen, and any buyers coming through can now click on this QR code, and then they can be brought over to a feature sheet. So instead of having to do a paper feature sheet, now you have the option to just have the buyers going in, use their phone, and then they have it right on your phone. So let's give it a little shot. If you've never used a QR code, it looks funny. Um, it's a bunch, it's a little square with a bunch of little dots everywhere. It does bring you to a link. And down here, I have the instructions on how to do it. So all you're going to do is pop open your camera. And you can try it here on this screen as well if you have this video open. But pop out your camera right now that we're speaking. And then you're going to point your camera directly at the QR code. And you're going to see that this little yellow link pops up. So you're going to click on that link. And I hope that you followed along with us. And if you did, you're going to notice that it brought us right to this feature sheet online. Um, so again, this is what buyers can use when they're going into your listing and then they can walk around the house and they have access to your feature sheets. You can also direct them to your website. There's multiple ways that you guys can use this. So let's get into how you actually do this. So here's the feature sheet that we created. And if you are a Century 21 agent, you have the luxury of having the marketing center at your fingertips, which automatically creates your feature sheets for you, um, just using the MLS data and all the photos that you've uploaded. So all you're going to do is head on over to my.hub21.ca. You're going to head over to Marketing Center. Once you're in the Marketing Center, your listings will all pop up. So we're going to pick this listing here, and I'm going to click on View Projects. So these are all ready the pre-populated marketing materials that have been created for you. Um, you've got Facebook um, posts. You've got videos, postcards. For today's purpose, we're going to click on the brochure. We're going to click on download PDF and you're going to click the standard PDF. So you're just going to click download. Perfect. And then you're just going to click on that link there. Perfect. So from here, you're going to see again, just a PDF of the feature sheet. Now, what I'm going to get you to do now is you're going to click, you're going to download, sorry, you're going to download this onto your computer. Now we're going to head back onto your my hub 21 and now you're actually going to head over to my website. Perfect. So now you're going to head over to images down here on the left and you're going to go to image library. From here, you're going to go add new. You're going to select that PDF that you just downloaded to your computer. And you're going to see that it's going to download right here. Takes a little bit of time. Perfect. So we're just going to click on this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to go view attachment page. Now, the reason we're doing this, so you can do a right click early on, but the reason we're doing this is so that it directs people to your link. So your name will pop up from your website. So once you've got your image popped up, now you're going to do create QR code for this page. So there's your QR code. It's got a cute little dinosaur in it. Now you're going to click download. 
once the QR code is downloaded, you're going to click it. And there's a couple little steps that you can do. I'm going to show you one way. The um, Peter, who I was speaking about earlier, he has a different way. So I'm going to attach a link to his um, way as well, which may be a little bit easier for people. Okay, now that we have downloaded it, it is now here. So all I'm going to do is right click and click copy. Now, you may have noticed that I am using a program called Canva. Um, you can also use PowerPoint presentation, but this is an easy platform as well. So Canva is a free platform that you can use. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that QR code into this program. Okay, so now it shows up here. So all I did was I grabbed this and I dragged it up here. So you can use the same template over and over. You can see that you can change the name. And then you can notice that there's a cute little touch that we added the C21 logo over the dinosaur just to add that extra branding. And then you're done. So now you've made your QR code. You do have to create this template any way you want, but there is another option that you can do it on PowerPoint again. This one is just an easy one um, as well. So that's a whole other tutorial today. But if you are interested in having this template or some sort of template, please feel free to reach out to me. And then just to do another test round, you're going to pop your camera up. You're going to bring it up to that QR code. You're going to click it. And again, there's your feature sheets. So this is a really great little tool that you can be adding to your tool belt. If you're going on a listing presentation, you can pop up this QR code from any past listings and show them what you're going to be doing to bring technology into your listings and really make it accessible for any buyers that are going through your property. Again, another way that people have been using it is for farming. Maybe you're doing just listed, just sold. Maybe you're offering free home evaluations and you want to direct people to your Calendly account. Another way is maybe there's a pre-construction condo as well, and you can have the QR code loaded up on there. And then you can direct people over to a landing page to fill out their contact information for you to follow up with them. So really cool way um, of using a QR code in the real estate industry. I hope you learned a lot. Again, special thanks out to Peter Sardellis out in Ottawa with Century 21 who brought up this great idea and I'm happy to share it with everybody else. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to help and we look forward to talking to you soon.